Guys, hello. Tony from the Outsider Channel here today. Welcome to 2019, our first video. And we're starting 2019 off with the most requested trail guide that I've gotten since the channel started. This is Elisa Woods. Today, first time we're heading over to the other side of the canyon. Usually I'm in Laguna Woods, Crystal Cove. That's like my kind of like comfort zone. I haven't read Elisa Woods as much as I should, but I've been doing a little bit of research lately and I think I've got a nice loop for us. So today we're doing Rocket Trail, Lynx Trail, and Five Oaks. Pretty much the staples of Elisa Woods. There's car wreck, there's mentally sensitive, there's some other stuff too that we can explore later this year. But right now, for the initial trail guide, we're hitting the classics. What are you doing, Pip? Uh-oh. at Canyon View Park. This will be the headquarters for basically the entire ride. There's good street parking up on the hill here to the left hand side, both sides. Just watch for signs. There's some permit stuff. And we're not going to go into the park yet. We're going to go do a little bit of a street climb because that's the easiest way to the top, which is the ridge line, which is West Ridge, which is where we're going to start our first descent down Rocket Trail. We're going to take your first left down Silkwood and then you're going to take a right up Bottle Brush. Okay, so we took a right on bottle brush, a left up poly leaf, and we're just gonna go right in between these two poles. And head right. So the easiest way to explain Eliso is this is Westridge. This goes up and down the entire park. This goes all the way to the ocean at the bottom is Wood Canyon, another fire road, that traverses the same exact direction. So think of it like a top layer and a bottom layer. And the trails just kind of go elevator style in between those two. And right along this ridge line, you guys, there are appreciation stations every friggin' minute. We're headed over to Rocket. So we're gonna go left here at this crossroad. It's not labeled yet. We'll get to the single track in a second and you're gonna go straight ahead into this. Kinda hard to miss. And it kinda traverses flat a little bit. All right, here we go. Here's that rocky section. Fast. Keep your speed. Stay to the left. Your speed is your friend on that thing. Do not go slow. You'll get bucked if you're not careful. Lean back and just accept the ride. Another bit of a rock section. Stay left here. Up this guy, drop a couple gears if you can, and follow through with that climb. I'm gonna stop for a second, you guys, and just show you that section because this one will get you. So your first time through here, if you're like me, this caught you off guard. You're gonna be coming down. You're gonna feel like you wanna go that way. Don't, stay high left. Get some speed, give a lift up over this. You should roll right over it 
and then down here you could drop a couple gears and then make, make this semi-technical climb. But there's the line. High left, stay high. All right, back in the trail. What's water doing here? A fun little feature you could have your way with that way or just go around it. Last bit of rocket. It's super fast. And you're gonna go left. Into the woods. That's rocket folks. Really fun trail. That rock section in the middle, I can't stress enough. Speed is your friend. You just kind of float over them. Let the suspension do the work. We are on Coyote Run Trail. And this is gonna take us back to, well, not back to, this is gonna take us down to Wood Canyon, which is that other main fire road that traverses along the bottom section of Aliso. The bridge is kind of out of service right now, depending on when you're watching this video. So you gotta walk it. So we're on Wood Canyon right now. There's some fun stuff to play with on the side. But mostly it's just used as uh, A to B. Pretty though. So eventually you'll come to an inlet on the left. Look for the Chola sign and get ready for the hardest climb. Well, actually, I'll take that back. The second hardest climb in Aliso. First hardest climb, I'd say, is Nathis. That's a beast. We're not tackling that today. Chola gets steep. It's got some technical bits, even some switchy backies. I'll give you a taste of that right now. I'll show you really quick. We came through that gate right there earlier. I'll tell you this, street climb, less tiresome, but it's gonna take you a little bit longer. Chola, use more energy, bit more fun of a climb. Is that a thing, bit more fun? I'll take it. This time we're gonna hit up Lynx. Black trail, be on the left-hand side, pretty much almost immediately after Chola. It's gonna be right over here on the left-hand side. But if you wanna do it from the top, follow me. So there's the official entrance to Lynx. We're driving by and take a look on the right-hand side here. We're gonna be doing that descent down into this trail and we're gonna pick up Lynx with some speed. We're just gonna wrap around the right-hand side here, up this little, semi-hidden trail, short climb before we're able to open it up back again to the full Lynx descent. Now Lynx, I said, is a black trail. It's got some rocky stuff, some drops, if you're going fast enough. 
All right, I don't think I see anyone coming up to the lynx descent right now. You kind of have a little, you have a little bit of an owl's nest up here. Little perch that you could see down to time your crossover between the two trails. So let's get some downhill before the downhill. Oh no. Hey, you mind? Yeah. Let's see if we can give him some room. All right, I think a full 30 seconds could do it, right? That's enough room. Those drops I was talking about into some cheese. Another little drop. Fast section right here. Please forget this spot. All right, rocky section. And that's all she wrote. Head left back up again on Wood Canyon, past Trolla on the left. We're taking Wood Canyon all the way out. And we're gonna be taking this gate through to the same exact spot we parked at. All right, Canyon View Park on the right hand side right here. Beautiful park, have a picnic, take lunch, get your own pupper pip, take him for a walk. And this will also be the exit as well as our loop around to get to Five Oaks. All right, we went left before up to Westridge. This time we're heading right up the hill. You can see my car over here on the right. Take your second right on Rock Rose. And let's have a quick chat. So I'm not really sure on what the rules are in showing this Five Oaks entrance, to be totally honest with you. So I'm gonna give you a hint because I don't wanna get anybody in trouble, especially you don't wanna blow up a spot. Five Oaks itself is an open trail. The easiest way to get there, I'm not sure is. I'll just give you the hint now. At the end of this road, there's gonna be a park and the secret entrance is somewhere around there. That's all I'm gonna give you. Let's get to Five Oaks. Five Oaks. We're gonna be popping into this guy right here, following the line all the way down back to Wood Canyon. If you wanna do it from the top, you just got another short little climb on the right hand side. Let me also put a disclaimer out there, guys. This is one of the most popular trails in Southern California. If you want to see someone blast down this thing, there's plenty of videos for that on YouTube. I, this is probably my fourth time down it. It's a little tricky. I haven't memorized it yet. I'll show you what to look for best I can. If you keep your eyes across the canyon there, along the top is going to be West Ridge. So we just kind of crossed over to the other side here. All right, Five Oaks, let's do it.
this is one of those sections I was talking about I don't really know yet. Steepo right here. This one too, I think, roll right here. High line here for me. And avoid the stairs if you can. This will pop you out in the valley. Hi there. Okay. Just me. Cool little shady section here. And that's just about it. Nice little bridge right here. It's harder for me with these bars. <laughs> Since I got the wide bars, all those little things I took for granted, those little entryways and exitways. I'm like, uh, oh. all right, you guys, we're gonna head back onto Wood Canyon now. You can take that loop any way you want. As you can see, you just make laps. Think of it as like a little bike park. You can choose which trail you wanna start on or end with or if you want to take the street up or chola or mathis which is behind us we'll get to that another day if this is your first time here definitely give a subscribe there's videos every week like if you like the vid thanks for sticking around thanks for being part of the channel thanks for being a part of the community everybody and as always thanks for letting me bring your map to life <laughs>